Hello everybody, welcome to Monday Night Claw. What a show we've got in store for you tonight. I'm Jimmy Ventura and with me in the booth is Fermier and Rick Schiavone. Hello. Hello fans of the Lucha Libre. Here we are tonight. Monday Night Claw. La Garra. Comienza. Prepárense amigos, get ready. Lock the windows, lock the doors, because this is happening now. <laughs> oh, baby, what a card we have this evening. I couldn't have said it better myself from here. Here we go, baby. And look at this first match up here. Yeah, someone, <laughs> someone could say it's a little unfair, but there is nothing fair in the JFW, only winners and losers. <laughs> yeah. It is it is money in the ass qualifier. We've got two monsters and two giant slayers. Should be a wild one. Well, to be honest, probably all of them are monsters, but of different sizes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, Muppet Pac-Man does the kind of face, you know, that asks for uh, going to jail. Just because. <laughs> I think Muppet's one of those uh, nice monsters from Monsters, Inc., but he certainly is uh, a giant slayer, isn't he? Um, we've seen it before. He's got form, and I tell you what, I'm going to make him the favorite in my eyes for this one. 619 time, baby. <laughs> oh, boy, howdy. Uh, I mean, I think I, my, I'm personally back in Pepper Biscuit for this one, but, you know... Um... Well, Muppet, I have to... Muppet is, the troll, is a troll slayer. Is a giant slayer, for sure. I have to go with Papa Piquillo because has a name in Spanish, so that's it. I have to go with the cliche until the end. <laughs> there he is, the Plim Plum Cruiserweight champ. The man who can't control his arms, but that means that the opponents can't control his arms either and they don't know what's coming. Yep. He has got a glorious unibrow, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ronnie O'Sullivan would be proud. <laughs> I will take my hat off to a man that saw this model and say, yes, Jim, go with that. <laughs> <laughs> Here comes the man on the mask, Papa Piquillo. <laughs> Which, if he's in the chat, I need to confirm something with him about where the name comes from because, yeah, I want to be sure before I say anything. Okay. Mysterious. Oh, yes. <laughs> I mean, if you're a Spanish, you probably get it instantly, but if not, it could be very confusing. Right. Well, he is, he is a million dollar bird but maybe a million dollar Spanish bird. <laughs> yeah, well, that was... That moustache, that moustache. Again, you know, you're gonna hide your face while you show the moustache. <laughs> can anyone do any damage through the steel plate armor? If anyone can, it's Goliath Games, baby. Oh, baby. What an entrance this is. There you go. <laughs> Sorry, Rick viewers. <laughs> this is very not suitable for work. <laughs> Anyone is electro sensitive in this match, they're going to struggle against Goliath Games because sparks are flying everywhere. Woo. <laughs> Absolutely top nipple game there. Like dropping the early GG. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, Bessel, the, the massive boner you're getting is probably going to be not suitable for work. <laughs> I mean, if there is something not safe for work, is this. I mean, imagine you're at work 
and people watch see you watching this. How can you explain it? <laughs> I mean, how can you explain the GFW to a person that doesn't know about the GFW? You're like, nah, you know what? Fire me, fire me. That's it. I'll, qu I'll quit the job if I get to go the watching this. Because that is so difficult to explain, so magical, so incredible. There you go, forward! <laughs> Los Juegos de Goliath! <laughs> Holy shit, man. <laughs> Holy shit, man. <laughs> That's a pretty good bet, Frosty. It's basically guaranteed. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not forget them. All of these entrants were from original WWE and WWF uh, wrestlers. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No guarantee he won't win, of course. Definite size advantage going to Goliath Games in this one. There but only just. Only just. <laughs> Boy, howdy. Because look at the physique on this. And the terrifying figure of Pepper Biscuit. Is he alive? Is he dead? Is he somewhere in between? He's far beyond those concepts. He just exists. Like a force of nature, a law of the universe. <laughs> the eternal constant. And there is a battle here at many levels because we have Pepper Biscuit, biggest donor of chips, but we have Goliath Games with the biggest donor in subscriptions. Who's yeah. going to win the heart of the Jimmy Fantastic Wrestling? <laughs> mm -hmm. Wait, Pepper Biscuit is for an actual Alabama? Yeah, yeah. Isn't that crazy? Uh, PB and Tony both from Alabama. Wait, Tony's also from Alabama? <laughs> yeah! A small world, big family there! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh wow, both big guys going for the little guys. Oh, yeah. there you are, just like in jail. <laughs> Muppet getting horrifically squashed, but has somehow recovered to deliver the boots to Goliath Games. An amazing height to get him in the head there. <laughs> well, he recovers quickly. Oh, there is the Spanish commentator's table empty because I am here. If not, I will be there. <laughs> yep. <laughs> it's, uh, it's the cursed table, though, uh, isn't it, for me? Because uh, many, many a wrestler has gone through the Spanish uh, commentator's table and. Uh, <laughs> Very fortunate we haven't had a more severe injury to the Spanish commentators over the years, so I'm glad you're doing well. Yes, yes, it's a hard job because the Spanish commentators don't get any insurance. That's why the other wrestlers use the, those tables, because we are cheaper. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you go. Muppet. Oh, he had a chance there, but it was too slow. Meanwhile, Papa Pequillo oh. recovers. Oh, every whiskey being an absolute machine. Ever seen. Mubba being pretty cocky against uh, Goliath here. <laughs> well, he's got the speed advantage, hasn't he? So, uh, yeah, you know, if, uh, if Goliath gets mad or has a go, he knows he can just nip out of there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, also he has the equity advantage because if he loses, like, okay, he's the small guy, but if he wins, he beat the big guy. Meanwhile, Goliath, if he wins, he's like, all right, or nothing. But if he loses, what a shame. Pushing to that unibro. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's like playing Dimmy in the Chalice. <laughs> yeah. Playing could be a big war. But also, let's be honest, I'll give my credit to Dimmy. He qualified, and many people hasn't done that. Yeah. And oh, he yeah, did it with yeah. Camry, not, a, not easy. And with <laughs> I've seen the team, and for a local show by tournament, we'll be okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
it's uh, it's very generous of you. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, massive credit to, to Dibby for qualifying legitimately. That is awesome, isn't it? Really not not an easy thing to do. And the two big guys really going at it here. Oh. At first, uh, Goliath Games getting on top, but a massive slam from Pepper Biscuit. I'm a picky, you're suffering, trying to find a table or something, and my bit. Ooh. This is, I mean, this is elimination, and the, the winner of this match will be added to the Money in the Ass match. Um, on so there the... is actually something on the line here. Yeah. I'll probably explain why they are going so desperate, trying to achieve something. July the 18th. I don't know how much more Goliath Games can take of this. Camel Clutch is on. Oof. Oh. The Alabama hole. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, oh, my word. Don't look now for me. <laughs> Papa Piccolo is uh, in a bad way. <laughs> ah, that's all right. Ah, that's all right. Spain winner the football today, so that's uh, all I need. <laughs> yeah, they did. Yeah, crazy that it even went to uh, to overtime, right? That was worrying for a moment there. Yeah. We know we, we like to show some spectacle there. What is Goliath Games disappeared? The biggest man pulling a sneaky on us. <laughs> Still well, is master. The bigger you are, the, the harder you fall, I guess. Oh getting ready to come back and he's not happy. He's not happy. <laughs> Pepper just it didn't last very long. <laughs> <laughs> Off you go. Get in serve. Uh, Muppet in a bad way here. Um, Papa Piccolo taking it to him in the ring. And of course, that's where uh, eliminations happen. This could be it for Muppet. It could be. Muppet has a thought match uh, Friday night. So maybe he's still reeling from the pain there. Two, no. He recovers. He recovers. You need more to take down Muppet Pac-Man. Oh, monster slam onto the concrete outside. Sidewalk slam from Goliath Games. And look at the thrust. <laughs> he is feeling it. Oh, baby. Oh, he doesn't care if you're dead or alive. Pepper Biscuit's going to get it from Goliath Games. <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, the fine out of the submission. How's he hanging on? Got out of the pin before. Fights out of the submission. Can he finally turn things around in his favor? No, he's caught in the fisherman's suplex. Oh. Oh. Piccolo doesn't hold on and he's tired. Make the pin. Oh, he's celebrating. What's he calling for here? Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. There was no announcement in the score. Very good storm. I do apologize. Oh, my word. Two axe handles and a spinning heel kick from uh, Papa Piccolo. How is Muppet still breathing? Still fighting. It's probably because whatever is waiting for him outside is worse than what's happening inside. <laughs> that is true. Goliath Games with the table, taking it to Pepper Biscuit. And uh, yeah, I'd much rather be between uh, Muppet and Papa Piccolo than I would Goliath Games and Pepper Biscuit. That's for sure for me. <laughs> yep. well, I mean, I like outside in his real life. But yeah, yeah, the ring comes too, yes. <laughs> Oof. Oh my word. Oh, Pepper Biscuit busted wide open as Muppet kicks out. Pepper Biscuit, Jimmy's favorite at the start of this match, but, uh, you know, you, there's only so many blows you can take for Goliath Games and keep standing. Absolutely. Well, as, as they say in the comics of Conan, he bleeds, he can die. <laughs> yep. Or, or as they say in Alabama, if you bleed, you can marry it. <laughs> oh, there you go. And I say, use the word it. Use the word it. <laughs> oh, Goliath. So when the moves there, sexy time here in the GFW. <laughs> oh, my word. Muppet completely out. It looked like he was finally going to get on top with a big top rope move. Papa Piccolo just throwing him off like a rag doll, smashing him in the face and making the cover. Muppet just doesn't give up, does he? It's absolutely unreal. There is no quit in Muppet. And there's the counter. He has taken by far the biggest beating of anyone in this match, and he is still going. 
going. Mappet will be making a mistake there. He's too close. <laughs> and there you go. And there you go. Oh. Boom. <laughs> oh. Who owns the ring? The one that can pay for it. <laughs> oh, very cocky, Papaquillo. Massive mistake there. Nice. Getting carried away. Yeah, we've uh, finally got a change of dance partners here. It had been split into the two little guys, two big guys for the longest time, hadn't it? But uh, can't imagine this is going to go well for the little guys now as they're getting absolutely taken to town. <laughs> Hello, Foxavania. Yeah, the, the, uh, this glitch happens sometimes, doesn't it? Sadly. Oh! Muppet with the Hurricane Rider, he's fighting back as Papa Piccolo gets completely decimated, but Muppet somehow back in this against Pepper Biscuit. Of course, there are no eliminations on the outside, and all oh, the hip swiggle, baby. Woo! Remember, sometimes the red dice goes the right way. Oh, establishing dominance there. Oh, wow. wow! Oh, my God! He left front! Perfect. Oh my god, that's, <laughs> that's, that's a highlight if there was ever one. Why? Again! <laughs> Incredible. No, Pac Man no, showing. Brave. No fear here. Oh, oh. <laughs> All four of these men have got to be ready for a pin. Like, they're just absolutely done. <laughs> They've given everything they Mickey can give. Trying to break down there, but it's outside of the ring, so... Yeah, he but taps, but it's outside taps. the ring. It's outside the ring, but you are watching it. You watch it here, Goliath game stay. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm beginning to think this match is the entirety of Monday Night Claw tonight. <laughs> what an epic. <laughs> He has yeah, everything you could ask for. Blood, fight, glitches, bugs. Everything you can ask in a game. <laughs> Tune in next week for the conclusion of this match. <laughs> yeah. It's got to be in the middle of the ring, Jack Bull. So him tapping was no good. He's tapped He's again. Tapping, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Live games is spent, but I think all four are. The damage has been unbelievable. Sensible move from Goliath Games. He knows that by tapping, Papa Pequillo must break the hole. And he's not eliminated, so he's playing the rules there, knowing what to do. Yep. I think you're giving Goliath Games too much credit for there. <laughs> well, <laughs> I, I just want to be on his, on his good side, just in case. <laughs> <laughs> we finally have one man in the ring, but uh, one is, of course, not enough. No. Everybody else still happy to carry on he outside wants, and he joins them. He wants a dash partner and he's going back to Goliath Games. Here we go, Muppet finally trying to finish Papa Piccolo. He calls for it. <laughs> Surely he's going up top. Can we finally get one Fly. man eliminated? A Fly, Muppet. I know. Papa you're recovering. Will he be able to counter? What's going to happen there? <laughs> oh. <laughs> This, what a disappointment! If it had been either of the other two men, he'd have hit it because they're so much taller. But the, the, the shortness of Papa Piccolo working in his favor there as Bobby goes clean over the top. <laughs> Someone could call that a mistake. Who knows who's right? Who knows who's wrong? We can we can say it's impossible to know in the GFW. <laughs> But that didn't look good for Muppet. His moment of glory absolutely ran by himself. <laughs> yeah. Oh, get in the ring, you idiot. <laughs> oh, I think all four might be busted open now. I'm not sure about Goliath Games, but uh, Muppet there, absolutely wide open from a pepper biscuit elbow, and the other two under the masks bleeding profusely as well yeah goliath games the final one not to be bleeding here well he's not bleeding but he just lost a whole shoulder <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, that could be called a serious injury but he still clings on to it you know it was in the dfw no cute no quitters no livers there is no concessions admitted here oh. wow and now muppet pac-man did impossible 
made Goliath Games bleed. <laughs> Incredible. Now please get in the ring and finish it. <laughs> please. <laughs> Have we ever seen a fatal four-way quite like this, Jim? I don't think so, no. <laughs> on the huge drone farm on Pepper Biscuit. If oh. there was any hope that he was the one slightly surviving member of this match, it is now gone. And the only man in the oh. ring is completely unconscious. <laughs> Becky absolutely broke in and Goliath Games establishing dominance. <laughs> Where you go, you idiot? Stay down. Muppet, get in a breather. He comes back for more. And he regrets it now. The big press slam from Pepper Biscuit. Not quite as impressive on Muppet as it was when he did it to Goliath Games. By no. I think we can qualify now Muppet Pac-Man as self-injuring himself coming back. Here we go. Goliath Games actually trying to make it an elimination. Let's the go. massive oh. press slam on Papa Piccolo. Surely we finally have our first man out. Yes. Surely. One. Yeah. Two. No. 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 <laughs> How is that possible? <laughs> oh my God. I'm coming back. <laughs> Flying kick. If he puts on the submission now, oh, that is, is it! He's got it! And he does! And he does! He's tapped twice already! But this is no! What? <laughs> he's too tired, he cannot keep it! Oh my god, amazing! <laughs> he's thrown him back out of the ring! <laughs> 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 oh god! Wow, yeah, good save. Good save from a penalty. From France, Paris, France. Is this a good time, Jim, to mention that like in my gigolo days, I charge by the hour? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, what have you said the word gigolo days? Well, you know, we've all got a past for me. You know, don't judge, mate. Mop it with the pin up pepper biscuit. What a giant sling. This He's got him. He's got him. <laughs> the first to go is pepper there you biscuit. Go. Done it. Oh Sorry, God. people. You should have donated more chips. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Mop it in a row now. He's destroying everyone. Saving uh, Rick from having to talk us about his past. <laughs> You know what? One of my mates tried to be a gigolo. Yeah, believe it. Really? Oh, yeah. good, good on him. Yeah. I can't remember the name he thought of. It was it was dead funny. He like he had a profile and everything. I don't know if he got any work. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! It wasn't was Wagner. Was he more? Enough. Was he more Richard Gere or Rob Snyder? <laughs> Bit of both, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> more like, more like uh, a bit like, bit like Flicky Flack. He's a bit of a, a bit of a psycho. <laughs> no offense to Flicky, <laughs> but um, he looked like, a bit like Roy Keane. That's that's, 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 that's who I'd compare him to, Roy Keane. <laughs> Oh, Large shit. game, still feeling this. Oh no, rake to the eyes though. Doesn't matter what size you are, the eyes are always vulnerable. And he's gonna tap again, and it isn't gonna matter <laughs> again. The one time he could get out was in the middle of the ring. <laughs> it might just be Goliath Games' destiny, guys. To win this one. <laughs> he taps again, amazing. By the pure incompetence of his right. Oh, double team there that fails. Oh boy. Oh wow, look at that from Muppet. And he pays oh. for it big, <laughs> massive backbreaker. Muppet's leg looks broken. Look at the angle of Muppet's leg. Oh my goodness. Brutal. Goliath just crushing both guys now, isn't he? It's devastating. It's hard to watch how they're yes, even standing. I really don't know. <laughs> well, only one of them is at the moment. <laughs> Oh. Oh, that's it, that's it why so much matters for them, money in the ass, dinero en el culo. <laughs> yeah. They are willing to do anything. 
Life Games has a bit of an advantage here because if he gets knocked out on the outside, good luck getting him into the ring. <laughs> yeah. Oh, brutal. Absolutely covered in blood now. Everybody is just covered in blood. It's brutal here. It is hard to watch now. It's heat after heat. Oh, they can't even move. It's incredible. <laughs> are we going to get tap number four? I think we are. And it isn't going to count again. There it is. Poor Goliath guy. The pain he's gone through. But it'll all be worth it if he gets the win. Oh, man. The Hurricane Runners today from Muppet. Very impressive. Oh, God. And another one from France. Unbelievable. What a turnaround. Hello. Oh, he no souls! Goliath caves no souls and absolutely crushes Muppet! Oh, get him in the ring, Goliath! Stop pumping the air! Get him in the ring! Pin him! <laughs> this is starting to feel like a rebel game now. <laughs> it's over. It's not to be over for Muppet. Unless Papa Piccolo go. gets in the way. Oh, oh, oh out of nowhere! This could be it! He's got him, for One, sure. Two. It's Three! Goliath Games goes out! It's the two little men left! How have they done this? And Muppet with the turnaround! He's gonna do it, guys! 619 coming off into the win! <laughs> this, this, must be, this must be the human body can last this long! The snake! He's doing the snake! Oh! Full yes. snake! Muppet! Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Woo! 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 <laughs> oh man, he's got him! GG! This must be it! This must be it. No! 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 How? How has Papa Piccolo just kicked out of that? The damage he's taken from the big guys! What on earth? Massive show we're standing here by... Oh, oh Muppet's back goes out! Muppet's <laughs> back goes out! We saw his leg injured earlier. He's just given too much for too long. And this is Papa Piccolo's now. Muppet is a broken man. Oh my god. He was a really broken man before the fight, but yeah. <laughs> GG. What the what the, the, ref, the ref took ages. Two. Oh, Two oh, that was weird. That was weird here. That was weird. <laughs> oh, it's the, it's, the, it's the submission. No, it's not. It's just a. Oh, brutal. Softening him up for the submission, though. I wouldn't be surprised if we see it now. I think that's an ambitious pin off that. Nothing. Every single part of the body of Muppet Maka is destroyed, but he keeps going. <laughs> Incredible. He knows that glory awaits that morning in the ass. Muppet needs to find something right now. Or oh, as an amazing a match as he's put on, it's done. Oh, Papa Piccolo just softening the arm again. I think he needs to go for a finish here, guys. There isn't much softer that you could be than a Muppet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Your microphone's gone a bit wonky there, Femi. I don't know what it was. Oh, oh my. Oh, it's okay now. Oh, it's all over. He finds a submission. No, Muppet no. finds out. How has he fought out? How has he got anything left to give? How can he see? Look <laughs> at the blood careering into his eyes. He's just a crimson mass. <laughs> Incredible. Only PC can win matches without watching. This is not your forte, <laughs> Muppet. <laughs> the strength is back will go again. His back must go again. No, this time he manages it. This could be it. Oh. It is 619! 619! 619! Boom! This must be it. This must be it. Game over for Papa Piquillo. How has Muppet held on? Pin him, oh, Muppet! He's, he's, oh, he's lost it. He doesn't know where he is. Pin he him. doesn't know what to do. Oh. What's he doing? Finish it, Muppet! Oh, Muppet! Oh, oh Muppet, bless you. Oh. He gave more than he had. <laughs> Yeah, sorry oh my goodness! <laughs> we're we're oh. not done yet. <laughs> he has it. He has it. All his dreams could have become true. Still coming call, back. Call your bosses now, everybody, and tell them you're going to be sick in the morning. We're in this for the long haul.
Grab yourselves a beer. This is incredible. This is probably a record setting match for Monday Night Claw. That this surely is, can't this finish too long rolling him in the ring. Surely that can't finish it. It's hard. <laughs> wow. EC. Just Papa Piccolo dead in the water. Holy moly. Muppet, the smallest man in the match, taking the victory. <laughs> Unreal. Muppet. Pac Man is going to morning. <laughs> Congratulations, Muppet. Commiserations, everybody else. Wow, what a performance. What a performance from Muppet. Unbelievable. I've seen Christmas Carol, I've seen Sesame Street, I've seen Treasure Island, but that's the best Muppet performance I've ever seen. <laughs> glorious, absolutely glorious, absolutely epic there. He paid the price in blood, and it was worth it. Yeah. Oh, Who yes. can stop this man? Who can stop this man? That's, that's the it. question now. It's a good question as well. What a performance. Whew, boy, howdy. Well, now it's time for the Wemdorp Open Challenge. A mystery competitor set to take on Dionysian. No idea who it's going to be, but let's hope at least it finishes quickly after that marathon match. <laughs> <laughs> Can't believe that was the first match. Yeah. I'm so oh, tired. That, that is, yeah, that is ridiculous. Oh, well, yeah, well, like, a marathon for us as well, right? Absolutely. <laughs> Wemdope Championship changing hands like hotcakes lately, Jim, and uh, Vermeer. So will we finally see a champion successfully defend, or will there be a new champion again tonight? I guess it depends on the challenger. Yeah. Could going to be the mystery challenger. Could be anyone. Could be anyone between dozens of fighters. <laughs> Literally dozens. Literally dozens of fighters could be the mystery man tonight. <laughs> Wait a minute, that's Ducky's music. All right. There you go. The king of the fowls. The lord of the breads. <laughs> yeah. CCL champion. Legend of the game. He really is. Up against Dio the Sniper. One of the contenders for uh, Chalice Greatest of All Time versus almost undoubtedly the Blitzbit Greatest of All Time. Yeah. Great, yeah. To, great to see them go head to head. Will this, will this decide which of those tournaments is the better? <laughs> and we are seeing here people that have actually earned money playing Blue Bowl. Yeah, unbelievable, isn't it? Unbelievable. I look at that only a handful of people in the world can uh, say. Yeah. Yo! <laughs> Great entrance. <laughs> he wants to keep the title. Yeah, he's got a big uh, chalice game in the morning. Um, is it is it wise for him to be wrestling tonight? Or is it is it this coming morning? Is it? Yeah, um, nine a.m. UTC, ten a.m. BST. Oh wow, glorious! What a match that is. I hear he's got he's got a, a, a good team, but a, a bad coach. If I'm if I'm, uh, I'm <laughs> <laughs> recollect correctly. <laughs> yeah. That, oh, uh, yeah. Who's the kind of coach that wouldn't even be able to defend in Hell in a Cell, I think. Yeah, that, that kind of coach. <laughs> yeah. It is Dio versus Rick. What a match that'll be. Dio! My money's on the reckless one, to be honest, for that match. But it's going to be exciting. Depends how much his uh, broken legs are uh, jipping him. Might, might be distracting. <laughs> That's true. That's Introducing true. Introducing the challenger from 
<laughs> Alabama, UK, and Alabama, Denmark. <laughs> what a face! What a face! Gives him a 10% equity advantage at the start of every match so that the opponent has to stand across the ring and stare into that expression. <laughs> it's great because it catches his by surprise, doesn't it? Because you see the, you see yeah. the sheep mask and then you see it. I always forget. I always forget. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what, what's the record as Wem Dope champion, Jim? Just roughly, like how how long has anyone managed to hold on to it? Uh, physics held on for it for a, a while. It must have been like six weeks, maybe it's even more. Phys I think physics yeah. probably held it the longest. Oh, maybe it's Jimmy Fantastic. Actually, Jimmy Fantastic held it a long time. Yeah, fair play. So yeah, like uh, two two months, probably tops ish. Yeah, that's that's really impressive. Yeah, well, might even hold it for six weeks. Then. Wow. That yeah, going at it. Oh. Oh, my, oh my word! <laughs> the strategy in full force there. All the rerolls on Apo going right in off the <laughs> off the bat. Oof. Big equity shift though. Oh. <laughs> oh. Clearly, Ducky knows how to wrestle. Nice little foul to the knee there from Ducky. Ref uh, not bothered by it. Very oh, and another foul to the gut. Oh, my <laughs> days. And a foul to the arm. They're coming in left, right, and center here. Weakening the arm for something. I wonder what Ducky's got in mind later there. Really working that left arm of Dio. Mm -hmm. Working the pin. <laughs> so optimistic. <laughs> yeah, just uh, making him expend some energy with the kick out. <laughs> he kicks so much when people are down, I love it. <laughs> oh, I hate this move, though. <laughs> <laughs> Little Should dab at the end from, uh, from Ducky there. Yeah. yeah. It's a bit crap, that, isn't it? Been all all ducky so far. Dio needs to find something if he wants a chance to retain and a big shoulder block to the face. Nicely done from Dio. Oh, and then Ooh. I thought he was doing a neck breaker, but switched it up into a into a smash with his elbow, ramming the head of Ducky into the mat. He feels like that's enough. I'm not sure, but he's uh, he's doing some damage now. He's on a roll. Lucky on the fence, recovers their counters, coming at it. <laughs> Stomping on him again. <laughs> Dio, not, not afraid of, foul, of uh, a foul himself. Does like a good little foul, does Dio? Mm. Oh, the disdain from Ducky, but. Oh, <laughs> costly. Oh. Right. Always a mistake. Good day, Cocky. Good to see you. Oh, Dio working the leg that Ducky likes to foul with. Those stomps might be a little bit weaker next time he gets the chance to do them and kicks to the back of the head. Dio enjoying himself now. He loves inflicting pain. Oh. It's getting rocked here, though. Oh. Oh. Both of them very, very ambitious with the pin attempts. Got a two count there, though, Ducky. Yeah. Well, maybe they realized that the last match having gone longer than uh, WrestleMania 12's main event <laughs> Iron Man match, that, uh, <laughs> that, yeah, this one, this one needs to finish quickly. Yep. Oh, big suplex from Ducky, and he holds on oh. for another. Oh. Wild. 
Waiting for a variant of the three amigos. Mm. Oh, here we go, the Tucky foul. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Raf, why aren't you calling it, Raf? Come on. <laughs> Ooh. No. Oh, Dio can't take much more than that. He needs to dig deep and find something right now because he is uh, dangling on the precipice. We nearly have a third new champion in three weeks. Oh, that's a nasty arm wrench. Dio obviously distracted by his game tomorrow. He needs to remember that he's at the ring right now. <laughs> he does. Oh, little celebration before the pin. Oh, holding the, the rope, holding see? the rope. But the still. Is... Oh my god, the that is right. The foul, the, of the, foulest, the foul of the foulest. Proving again who's the dirtiest player. Ducky. Oh my goodness. We, we, need, a, we need a decision on this from uh, Theresa Mame, I think. That's, that's not right. The ref has got this one wrong. Ducky should not be the new Wemdo champion. Dio is going to be fuming, and uh, wow, I, I kind of hope that we hear something in the next few days regarding that. Wow. That incredible. Is incredible, isn't it? Incredible. <laughs> Never, I didn't even know that was possible. That is wild, isn't it? Incredible. I mean, Absolutely. most of us have been calling for some VAR in JFW for a while now. For some reason, the powers that be not listening, but if, if ever there's a clear case for it, it's right there. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, that is that is a shocking, shocking result. Absolutely robbed Dio. Um, and <laughs> but now we've got to move on and we've got the YPA, Foxamania and JBG up against Lemon is Good and Fat Fox. Dressed for business. Dressed for business with an absolutely massive win against the champions in a non title match last weekend for the main event or semi-main event of uh, Monday Night Claw, right? So uh, they're on an absolute tear here. They are, yeah. It's a huge match. Getting ready to go for the title. Training. Becoming better. Getting ready for business. <laughs> yep. <laughs> but can, can the Yorkshire boys get in their way and stop them? The moustache versus the beards. <laughs> yeah. A fight as old as time. <laughs> yep. Wow, what a goal. Um, <laughs> sorry, France there. <laughs> That's okay. Thank you for the cue. I'm going to pop it on now on my other screen. <laughs> <laughs> Ready for business. Sean Bean with them in spirit. Not sure that's uh, necessarily the, the best uh, guy to have in your corner. Famous for dying in just about everything that he's in. <laughs> in Silent Hill, the movie that where he doesn't die, the rest of his family dies. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Three one, cocky. Three one. So it's yeah, that's, that's pretty much done, isn't it? Fr Spain through earlier, France through now. The big guns doing well. Yeah, yeah dress of business were robbed a little bit under Gorilla, but uh, now with Theresa Mame at the helm, <laughs> dress for business having a resurgence. There you go, Lemon is good. Showing off that face. <laughs> now they're just losing because of Lemon. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> if they if they win tonight, surely entitled to a to a title shot. Yeah, surely. So in the heat is right for this fight. <laughs> and there you go. Yeah, big snap suplex from Lemon into the stomp to the face. So Dresser Business immediately with the upper hand. And he's into uh, Dresser Business corner. And another snap suplex. Oh, snap neckbreaker. Wow. High octane start from Lemon here. It is nothing coming back from uh, Johnny B. Good. He needs to find something. He's getting absolutely wrecked. <laughs> Lemon's really saying is. it's over. That might be optimistic <laughs> this early, but you never know. <laughs> Oh. oh, beautiful move there. What a yeah, move. Absolutely wonderful whirlwind slam. Oh, but a, a chin breaker there from Lemon. Misses the stomp. <laughs> and raised Lee from Johnny B. Good. He's back in this one now. Makes the tag. Yeah, he had taken a bit of early damage, so a breather. Not a bad idea, but the hot tag not going so great as Yorkshire gets smashed to the ground by Lemon. He does catch him on the rebound, though. <laughs> Lemon gets hit in the face a lot, which makes sense. It's a pretty big face, isn't it, for me? Yeah, it's an easy target. It's an easy target. There's a weakness there. Yeah, that's true. And he makes the tag to Fun Fox. Oof. Dirty move there. What's happening there with the ropes? <laughs> they're, they're riding boots. There might even be stirrups on the bottom of those. So, yeah, really nasty uh, boot to the face. Ooh. Oh, rolls them up but doesn't hold on to it. Oh, nice move. <laughs> I need to first count, but adds on, unfortunately, with his, uh, his big head. <laughs> 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 wow, a bridging oh, submission from Yorkshire Kiwi. Great style. Oh, what a counter there. You've seen Is one the touch coming. One tag from both teams so far. I feel like the next team to make a tag is going to get a, the momentum here. Yep. Yeah, the equity is changing. I can feel it in my bones. <laughs> Snap suplex from Yorkshire, but he's been in the wrong corner for the tag. So he carries on dishing out of the pain and a massive boot. Lays out Fan Fox. He is in a bad way now. Lemon might need to come in and make the save in a moment if this carries on. Yep. Yorkshire making Foxy the waifu. <laughs> there you go. Ooh, Swiss goal. 3 2. Mm. Not quite over yet, then. Yeah, could be another Croatia esque moment taking it to uh, extra time. Mm. Oh, massive belly to back. Fan Fox doesn't know where he is. Is he's going to the wrong place? He's looking for a tag, but he he has no idea where he's at. And now he's in the enemy corner. Oh, but he recovers more or less, trying to bring the fight to his corner. Lemon ready. Lemon ready. Lemon asking for the make tag. The, make the tag. No, he doesn't <laughs> no, make the tag. Mistake. He gets reversed. Oh, Ooh. the exact opposite of what just happened. <laughs> Foxy and there is the tag. the tag. Massive, massive equity shift in the favour. <laughs> it's sadly the already happened, Cocky. It's sadly already happened. It was it was on at uh, 1800 UTC. Um, you can watch the VOD or get the spoilers because I'll be honest, it wasn't much of a game. <laughs> you were the kind of game that explains why people like playing Blue Ball and why some people hate playing Blue Ball. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. What a power slam from Johnny B. Good. And this could be it. Lemon's got to make the save. Fan Fox has been absolutely decimated. Where is Lemon? It's over. Oh. No. Oh, Fox has managed to do it by himself. Wow, oh, Lemon just left him. 
Oh my goodness, Johnny be good saying it's over now. Yeah, good cutter. Boom. There this you is lemon all done. Lemon there is no way. There is no way. Oh! oh just at the internet. Not quite, but Johnny Be Good lays out Lemon. They are both completely down. He's just purely after Lemon now, distracted. <laughs> he doesn't even want Fat Fox. He wants to uh, punish him for preventing the pin. Nobody touches Johnny Be Good. He doesn't want to be touched. <laughs> 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 Lemon just ran us away. But Lemon bought Fan Fox enough time to recover. <laughs> a backbreaker on Johnny Be Good. He's got to find the tag. What's he doing? No, he's calling for his big move. <laughs> Here we go. The, uh, the comeback is on. Look oh. at the clotheslines. And there's no Yorkshire in sight to save Johnny Be Good here. Massive Ooh. slam. Well, he's getting to he's his feet on the outside. One, two, three, oh, and that's it, that's it. Wow. Quick victory, thanks go God for this. Wow. Fanfox with an, an inhuman comeback. He'd been in there so long, he'd taken so much damage. I don't even know how he survived the pit attempts he did. And uh, But Lemon had bought him time, hadn't he? Lemon bought him the time to recover in the ring. And then when uh, Johnny Be Good came back to him, he had enough in him to finish him off. And uh, yeah, once again, dressed to kill victorious and surely, surely now in for a title shot. Gotta be, gotta be. Incredible. Uh, Incredible. They deserve it. They fought for it and they deserve it. I mean, they deserve many things. But I thought the shot could be one of them. <laughs> there you go. Just think, Fan Fox and Foxomania could have been a tag team, couldn't they? But no, of course, it made more thematic sense to team Fan Fox with a lemon. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, if Lemon offers you to be part of his team, you have you must join. You can say no to that face. <laughs> <laughs> and yes, Bezel, Bezel's completely correct. The next match is Table Leg Wanger versus the Big Ham Fault Force. <laughs> oh, oh, this is a big one. I wanted to grab a can. Yeah. Um, exactly, Tony. And yeah, cocky. Yeah, PC one. It was. I got. I've got no. I can have no regrets about how I played or anything because it was just. It was just an absolute. It was an absolute Dyson. I think. There you go. The integrity of BBSL save. People were talking about a fix <laughs> about the commissioner rigging it for himself, but no. We we now know that it's an honest competition, and uh, so we can look forward to season two. Yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll let PC win. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> clearly, clearly. I mean, that you know, he might he might have won without the dice, right? He didn't he didn't really do anything wrong or anything. Um, he, he played well and everything. But, uh, yeah, it was it was a bit of, it was a bit ropey, yeah, <laughs> a bit ropey on the dice front for sure. Boy, howdy. Here comes the legend himself, Hey Wanga! <laughs> massive unit! With a massive unit. <laughs> He's not called Table Leg Wanga for no reason. No, yeah, yeah. I can see that now. <laughs> You know, man, oh, Shawn Michaels with his extra. Shawn Michaels, a man that I've seen live when I went to with my friends to watch uh, the WWE. Oh, yes. Yeah, we Is went there anything? Us... Sorry for me. We went at the right age, you know, to actually enjoy it in our mid 30s. <laughs> <laughs> I hear that. I hear that. <laughs> Is there anything less safe for work than when Vermeer is in the ring and uh, and Fault Force comes down and is working the leg? <laughs> yeah, the slimiest wrestler. This is this is like watching Blood Bowl three. <laughs> Start in my eyes. <laughs> oh, man. Well. <laughs> 
I like a I like a guy that knows how his bread's bud and full force sure knows what he likes. And he's gonna yes. share it with all of us. <laughs> he's worthy of his own Twitch channel. <laughs> The big ham versus the table leg. <laughs> Fresh off of a hot tub stream. <laughs> Listening body. <laughs> no, baby. <laughs> you know, Jimmy, sometimes I feel sorry for you to have to work on these models. <laughs> <laughs> I, have to, I have to watch them for hours meanwhile you build them. Yeah. Yeah, thanks. It is, it is somewhat disturbing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true, Cocky. Yeah, that's the funniest thing about it. This is fully realistic. <laughs> that's the thing. If you have a full force, that's how you imagine him. <laughs> yeah. Oh, dear. Holy shit. Is this a flag hammer? I can't get him up. Oh, oh it would have oh, been up. Oh, oh, he's taking a Almost breaks the ring. <laughs> <laughs> quite uh, quite evenly matched in the size department, isn't it? This one, guys. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're levels. Both massive fellas. At all levels. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> don't, I don't think there's any matching table leg wanger in uh, <laughs> in that department. No, I think I think actually I think he's got a uh, I think he's got fault force well and truly. Uh, comprehensively beaten in that in that category, actually. <laughs> <laughs> too much information. Too much information. <laughs> I, I don't want to know how you know. <laughs> <laughs> you know what happened that night in the path. It stays in the path. <laughs> Fall Forbes was quite candid about his on stream the other day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, roll up pin! He's Small got back oh, no. got a got a two can. The most devastating move in wrestling: the surprise roll up. <laughs> really, uh, really taking is. another victim there. And and to be fair, how much longer in the ring would you want to be with full force? You can't blame Table Leg Wanger if he chooses to stay down. <laughs> Absolutely not. Oh, Switzerland have scored! Oh my God, it's three three! Can't believe it! <laughs> Twice in one day! Twice in one day! Unbelievable! <laughs> That's insane, isn't it? Oh, oh! Massive clothesline to the outside. I tell you what, I thought this would be uh, an absolute squash match in Table Leg Wanger's favour, but Fault Force is really bringing it to him here. He really is. I mean, you have Table to remember... Like you have to remember that to hit Fault Force, you have to look at him. <laughs> oh, yeah, this, you know, this uh, is true. <laughs> And to slam him, you have to smell him and touch him like that. Oh, yeah, it's just, it's not appealing, is it? In fact, I was just thinking, why is Table Leg Wagon not having a, a go at him there when he rolled into the ring? But that will be why. A good point from here. <laughs> yeah, the celebration into pin, getting the one count. <laughs> yeah, the worst thing is, even if you can bring yourself to attack him, the problem is he is slippery, isn't he? He's, it's very yeah. hard to get a good handle on him. The big ham knows how to play the rules. His most advantage is like a beast of Nargle <laughs> with a Union Jack. <laughs> yep. No, oh, beautiful. Oh, oh it seems that the uh, Wanger has got used to his the look of his enemy, so now he can hit back. <laughs> no more disturbing presence. <laughs> Oh, massive DDT, but he's absolutely knackered, isn't he? Having a breather after every move here, Table Leg Wanger. Yep. Oh, oh, the comeback there. He takes too long. Full Force saw it coming a mile away, had fully recovered. And now, with a massive neck breaker of his oh! own, he pops up. <laughs> and he pops up again. Oh, wow. Massive agility. But look at the Where's time, that and he's caught by the choke slam. He had to take a breather again, and it was just too long. Full, uh, full force is right back at him every time he takes a second. Oh boy, the ham slam! 
I feel like something's up with Table Leg tonight. I can't see how he can win this. The way he's uh, the way he's breathing so heavily. It's not looking good, and here's the hamstone pile driver. Oh, there you go. He's going all deliverance from him. That's it in my book. Square little pig. Two, yeah. three, and there you go. Four, four. was really not right about Table Leg Wanger in this match, and it might well, as for me to say, have been that he was having to face full force. <laughs> Who would be right about that? But yeah, really not at the races here at all. No, yeah, very disappointing from Wanger. What a big win for the big ham. I hate to say it, God, I hate to say it, but uh, we might see more of Full Force if he keeps winning like this. Yeah. <laughs> Someone must stop him. Please. <laughs> For the humanity. <laughs> Yeah, maybe, cocky, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Over the chloroform. <laughs> Just like in a date. <laughs> well, now the football's on. As we're, as we're, as this, as this match is going live, we've got France versus Switzerland happening right now. Tomorrow is going to be England versus Germany. What a match that's going to be. Um, almost as big as Rick versus Dio, and <laughs> in in honour of that match, next up we have got two special tag teams for the night. It's England versus Germany. It's Frosty and Dimmy versus Ordon and Lean Gary. Oh baby, <laughs> pretty cool. And, uh, I got I got a favour the the English here, Jim, because uh, Dimmy can be a bit of an ogre. Well, this is a match for the history books, if any of them could be able to read. <laughs> yep. Now we're getting ready here for the big one. Dimi, CCL legend, <laughs> Frosty, Lingari, Orleans, this is all in. <laughs> uh, Dimmy, basically the Ballon d'Or winner of Blood Bowl and JFW at the moment. So uh, I think any manager would have to have him first on the team sheet. <laughs> it's coming home. It's coming home. I had the coming home thing, didn't I? I had the coming home remote for a time. I'm, uh, I'm going to the semis, Jim, on, uh, on England's side of the draw. So just tomorrow's game is so ridiculously big to me now. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> right. Let's have a look at this. <laughs> Glorious. Land of hope and glory. Have there ever been a more prestigious, more representative of the UK couple than Frost Lord Army and Dimmy? <laughs> they are the everyman. We all see ourselves in them. They all make us proud to be British. Thank God for my Spanish passport. There you go, there you go. What is Dimi in the chat when we need him? <laughs> yeah, Dimi is the Dimi is the world everywhere, chum. <laughs> England not had a, a a meaningful major championship win against Germany since '66. Just the uh, just the kind of pointless in the end Euro 2000 win. So this would be really something if these two could pick up the win here. But here are the Germans. <laughs> the Germans. In the only situation where people can cheer for Germany without any problem. Football or fantasy wrestling. <laughs> yeah. The bad guys. Don't mention the war, guys. But it is break down the walls. I thought that was quite good. <laughs> lesson in history there GFW also educates the young generations 
Hold on, of course, with a hat. Maybe, it, maybe he's thinking of joining uh, Das Hats here, or maybe they're thinking of recruiting him. Could could become a stable, couldn't it? Of a uh, of hatted man. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Ready for the fight. There is a lot on the line here. National pride. <laughs> Look at the seriousness of these two. Not a joke between them. <laughs> East and west of Germany together against England. <laughs> yep. Oh dear. Demi representing pretty much everything about England, really. <laughs> Just by himself. He doesn't need Frosty to see. We could have just cloned Dimmy. <laughs> but Frosty's here to try and help us win. <laughs> Dimmy already on the floor there from a massive clothesline, getting his head wrenched. Can he find the a way out of this? The gentleman's going to business. No jokes here. Oh. Well, if Dimi and Frostled Army can get it done in regular time, that's fine. But if this match goes to penalties, we're in a bad way. <laughs> yep. You don't want to see these going to kicks. <laughs> oh, Dimi. The pass oh, to Frosty. A hassle of a re as ref would be incredible, wouldn't it? Here is Frosty, the English Patriot, of course. Using Patriot in a very broad term. <laughs> Hold on, trying to rip the mask off. Trying to show the truth of England to the people. <laughs> the true face of England. Of course, he's not falling for it. He has spent too many summers in Magaluf to be impre impressed by random violence. <laughs> Give him a massage here. Interesting strategy. Classic useless movement of whirling. Oh, bring it here. Come here. Here Do comes it. Dimmy. Strong and stable. <laughs> I reminded Jim earlier of uh, the Euro 96 match. That's such a big match in uh, the memory of our generation. England obviously lost on penalties in the end. Uh, Shearer opened the scoring within minutes. Uh, and Cunts equalised. And uh, Jimmy said, which one? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they did that for the uh, Euro, well not Euro, the World Cup '98 video, didn't they? The, uh, they, they just gave every all of the German players <laughs> <laughs> that that name on the back of their shirt. <laughs> it's okay when it's the name of the player, Frank Furter. That's okay. It's his actual name. K U N T Z, wasn't it? Stefan, wasn't it? I believe. Yeah, indeed, indeed. <laughs> oh, Dimmy. Dimmy taking it to Lean Gary here. Yep. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, Whipped into the corner. Of it. Straight back with an elbow. Takes him over to Frostled Army, and if he finds the tag, Lingari could be in a bad way, but a nice reversal. And they're going back over to Odont. Oh God. To be honest, Lingari, that's even worse for British people to say. That's not making anything better. <laughs> but is the actual name? It's the actual name. I mean, uh, yeah. nothing you can do about that. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you need to be respectful and say names properly. Yeah. Or, or just don't say them at all. <laughs> exactly. Don't mention it. Don't mention it. <laughs> oh. Nice.
nice move from Odom there. The prehistoric German turtle. Going, going for the finish, but uh, Frost Lord Army only just joined in in this match, so uh, I think he'll be too fresh to, to end it there. Yeah, Fights out indeed, punches to the face of Odon. Turtle going up against a, a, a navy man, uh, <laughs> experienced seaman. This could be a... <laughs> a lore of the sea. <laughs> oh. This could be a step too far for Odon. Good teamwork here, isn't it? Being between Frosty and Dimmy, this is uh, this has been strong stuff. Yeah, pretty fantastic. And Dimmy's actually really been on fire in the ring, hasn't he? He's done most of the work here. Yeah. I think they're doing a great team. job together. The only problem will be they start talking about football. <laughs> you know that the the only thing that they destroys the friendships in the between British people. <laughs> yeah. well, Got to make the save, uh, yeah. Lee Gary just in time. Frostled Army couldn't get to him. <laughs> that was a proper blitz from the Germans. <laughs> well, sorry, it's a, <laughs> it's a blood ball reference. It's a blood ball reference. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> oh, Dim in trouble here. <laughs> Oh, what a what a one hundred save there from the, the Swiss goalie! Unbelievable, Jeff. Ankle lock with the claws. Uh, Got to be extra painful, but Dimmy finds his way out. He is starting to take some damage here, and he's been in the ring by far the longest of the four men. If this is a tag to Frostlord, he wouldn't be badly served. Finds the elbow. Come on, make the tag, Dimmy. Dimmy, <laughs> Dimmy. he's used to suffer. After all, he's an Arsenal fan, so yeah, he knows pain. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> it was the long way around, but here comes Frost Lord Army, and Odon seriously softened up. Frost Lord might be able to make get the win here. Rolls him into the middle. I think Gary needs to do something soon, or this is gonna be over. A huge fall away slam from Frost Lord Army right onto the shell. <laughs> oh, pedigree! No, it's not pedigree. It's a uh, oh. different. Double underhook hanging something? Suplex, slam. wow. <laughs> Just add a slam at the end and it's always there, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wrestling word insert here. <laughs> oh, he's gone oh. for this brutal bear hug. Crossface bear hug, yeah, absolutely it's, devastating. Where's the save? This is going to be it. He's pulling a handcock on him, he's pulling a handcock on him. Call the sun. <laughs> Wow, Odon somehow holding on, but this really is it. He's calling for the pedigree now, and Lee and Gary needs to save this and get Odon out of there. Absolutely. Pedigree. This must be over. Oh, no, Lee and Gary. How did he not make the save? Oh, but he still dude. needs to tag. It's no good, Odon being in there. Dimmy. <laughs> Dimmy and Frostlord Army are. Pretty much ogres in there right now. Odon's one weakness. <laughs> <laughs> I can see that Rick is shooting with real fire now. <laughs> <laughs> Massive power slam. Oh my days. I, I'm feeling really sorry for Odon here. He's taking a hell of a beating. Oh, oh my word. Fucking chop to the door. <laughs> Knocked completely unconscious there. I don't know why Frostlord isn't going for the finish. I'm oh, trying to submit him now. Squeezing the trapeze and squeezing the life out of Odon. Boy, howdy. Odon. Whoa, it's going to come back there. The reversal whips him over to Lee. Gary, make the tag, Odon, and it's game on. Yes, it is. It is. We have a fight here. We have a fight. Oh. Germans. Working together. Yeah. Oh no, it's, go it's going to penalties. It's going to penalties. <laughs> yeah, Ross Lord Army missed his chance to finish it in extra time. <laughs> Getting decimated by Lee and Gary now. Look at the power. Yeah, great teamwork from the Germans. Oh. 
Ian Garrett, to be fair, made a couple of huge saves, didn't he? And now looking to finish it himself. It's a wonderful performance by him if he does manage to. He is a great tag team competitor, isn't he, of course, with teaming up with Aurelensis for all those years as Das Hats. Demi not interested in breaking this up. This oh He knows, he knows the first he still have it on him. Oh, he trusts right. his partner. He trusts in the union. <laughs> So don't. Oof. Oh, oh, oh my word. I'm not Absolutely sure about this Odon image. being back in the ring already, though. If he doesn't get the finish here, he's got to be the weaker of the two men by far. Yep. Cannot be that recovered. He's, he's got to go for the finish and hope this is over. He if Jimmy comes in. Dump the bomb. Yeah. Well, to be fair, taking it to Frostlord Army, really nice fall away slam there. Oh, Frostlord Army is in real trouble. Uno, <laughs> dos, Dimmy three. Just what, in the Germans what was win. That? What was he doing there? Distracted by the compab fella. <laughs> Fuck's sake, Dimmy. Fuck's <laughs> sake, Dimmy. <laughs> GG. you got to say, classic Dimmy performance, classic England performance. <laughs> We had it in the bag, <laughs> and just Timmy fucked it all up. So, only that sleep in the middle. The English having the better players there, but the Germans working better as a team and picking up the win. Kind of says it all. I'm not even sure we need to watch the football tomorrow after this match. <laughs> Fair shout, Night Demon. <laughs> <laughs> he thought he had 20 seconds to <laughs> get in and break that up. Well, there you oh, go. Wow. The Germans win it. But now it's time for the main event. And it is Elliot taking on Night Demon. Boy, howdy. Wow. So last week, we saw Space Cadet trying to defend the honor of Rick Reckless, whose leg was hideously broken in Hell in a Cell, and Night Demon taking his championship from him. And now, it's another one of his friends, Elliot, trying to do the same thing, where Space Cadet unfortunately fell short in a spirited effort. Will Elliot go one better? Sorry, uh, it was Space Cadet, the Night Insane in Armour, for Rick Reckless. <laughs> Yeah. Well, he tried. He tried to be, but he he wasn't successful. Yeah. Well, well, <laughs> we have seen that happening before. <laughs> yeah, no stranger to failure, in Space Cadet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess he wasn't wrestling Jimmy Fantastic, so uh, so it wasn't a guaranteed win. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. No mercy here. No mercy. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> well, and if you saw the previous fight, I have a lot of national cliches. <laughs> it's time to wait rowdy. That's it on Team Walker. Space Cadet conditions that body hair so beautifully that it glistens. <laughs> But what a jig. You can't help but jig along with it. <laughs> you can. There you go, Elio, the happy tab. A man able to play blue ball for hours. <laughs> Exceedingly rowdy. Oh my a happy tab. God. Just dropped in to say hi before I get my ass kicked in pool tonight. Thank you so much, Pepper Biscuit. Unbelievable! <laughs> 10,000 wow. bits! There you go, Pepper wow. Biscuit, recovering the throne. <laughs> Holy shit, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Unbelievable. Glorious. 
I don't believe it. <laughs> so much. Absolute legend, Pepe the Biscuit here. Legend. Nobody, nobody tell him that Muppet kicked the shit out of him. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Muppet, who's yeah. Muppet? I don't remember any uh, Muppet. It's not buying him any favours, is it? It's an incredible generosity uh, funding uh, the, the JFW, but boy, it can't buy a win. JFW <laughs> is a perfectly honest organisation. It, it is, yeah. It's, it is not. It is not predetermined. It's not rig. It's not rig. It's destiny. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. Thank you so much. And <laughs> thanks, Cocky, for the one bit. <laughs> Good luck at the pool. <laughs> oh, at oh, pool, not in word. the pool. At the pool. It pool. Not the start we wanted to see here. In Elliot pool. getting absolutely wiped out by Night Demon. Night Demon has been a monster in the JFW for years, and now finally where he feels he belongs. Look at this, just toying Glorious. with him. As the no, EAB champion, and, uh, and yeah, victorious. look at the confidence he exudes. <laughs> he just knows defend. he's the top dog. That I could be defend. it. It's it. He's done him. <laughs> down. What? What? <laughs> 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 well, that went about as well for Elliot as you'd imagine it would go for Elliot if he was to fight a fucking zombie. <laughs> well, if you were wondering where the time went from the first match, you've just got it back, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> oh my days. Poor Elliot doesn't know what just happened. Oh boy, that is absolutely brutal. Oh, oh, man. Man. What an ending, what an ending. <laughs> Poor Elliot. Yeah, What's the I think so. <laughs> it's amazing. Oh, the records are there to be broken. Wow. Poor <laughs> Elliot. <laughs> 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 oh, Poor well, Elliot. And, and poor Rick can't get any redemption from his friends. He can't. He's gonna do it himself. He's gonna have to do it himself. He's gonna have to. Or, or find he's, better friends. He's got a broken leg. Like what? You know, you just can't, can you? It doesn't matter whether you're living or undead or anything. If your leg's broke, that's it. It is indeed. Well, thank you so much, Femir and uh, Femir and Rick. Absolutely glorious. Glory, as always, a pleasure. Yeah, thank you for having us, and yeah, joy to share the commentary booth with you, Famir. I'm a, I'm a big, big fan. I, yeah, I'm, in a short amount of time, you won me over on Friday, sir. <laughs> yeah. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot, Eric. I mean, your support means a lot. <laughs> Absolutely incredible. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic. <laughs>